Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to go through question number 10, which is the final question from this June 2023 International A level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 exam. Now, this question, this paper so far has been pretty simple, actually, but uh, things kind of turn a little bit more complicated in this question. All right. So, this is like a bit of a more extended question, some parts of it, that's all. And I think I'm sure some students found that, um, some parts of this question a bit challenging, whereas the rest of the paper was pretty pretty straightforward. Anyway, so this question here, it says, figure five shows a sketch of the quadratic curve C with equation y equals negative a quarter x plus two x minus b. So we can see it's like already in some sort of factorized form where b is a positive constant. The line L1, which is this line here, is also shown, and it has a gradient of a half. So we know the gradient of line one is equal to a half. Okay. Um, it, um, it, and the gradient also intersects C, so it intersects the curve um, on the negative x-axis. That's one place where it intersects the curve. And also at the point P. All right, so this line intersects the curve at these two points. All right write down an equation for line one now the word write down implies that there's not much calculation involved in fact no calculation involved right so an equation of a straight line is given by two things we need to know firstly we need to know uh, well two things one is the gradient okay so we need to know the gradient of line one which we already told that that's a half and two any point on the line okay any point on the line okay now we know a point on the line how do you know point on the line? Because we're told, and I'll just use this diagram, this copy of the diagram down here so we can see everything in front of us. We're told here that this curve, which has the equation given, uh, y equals negative a quarter, x plus two, x minus b, intersects the line at this point here. So I know that this is a point that's on the curve and the line, and it's where the curve and the line meet the x-axis. So because we have the equation of the curve, we can try to find the x-intercepts, by equating it to zero. So we can say, basically, if minus a quarter times x plus two times x minus b equals zero, okay, that means x plus two times x minus b equals zero. So either x equals negative two or x equals b. Now we know that this must be negative two. b is a positive constant, so that must be b. That's where the two places where the curve hits the x-axis. So I know that this, this line goes to the point negative two, zero. From that, I can find the equation very easily. Um, but I can also know if the gradient is a half, then if you think about it, if it rises one and it runs two, so for every one it rises up, it goes across two, that must be one. If the gradient is, is a half. So one, you know, one up and two across. If the gradient is, is a half, that must be one over two. Okay, one over two. So we can see that the y-intercept is going to be one. So we can... We can say this this tells us that the y-intercept is 1. Or if we want to, we can say y minus y1, y minus 0 equals m, which is a half, times x minus minus 2, x plus 2. So you'll end up with y equals a half x plus 1 in either case. So y, either you can deduce the, the y-intercept by thinking about the gradient, or you can just use this formula, y equals a half x plus 1. So that's the equation of the line L1. So this now for a part two um it says find in terms of b the coordinates of p so we found the equation of line one which is y equals a half x plus one in a part one and we know the equation of curve c which is minus a quarter x plus two x minus b so of course they will intersect at this point p so p is where this line and this curve intersect and we know the equation of the line and the curve so if I say a half x plus 1 is equal to minus a quarter times x plus 2 and x minus b, we've got to find the coordinates in terms of b of, of the point p. So here what we can do is, um, if I get rid of the fraction, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 4 to get rid of the fractions. This will become um, 2x plus 4. Because you multiply that by 4, you get 2x two, two plus 4 equals, and this is going to get minus x plus 2x minus b. 
And I can see something that might help us now. If I take out 2 as a factor of this, I'll have x plus 2. And I have an x plus 2 over here. So what I could do is I could actually factorize this by bringing everything on one side. bring everything on one side of the equation. So I have 2 times x plus 2. I add, add this term to both sides. It will be plus, and it will be x plus 2 times x minus b equals 0. And I can see what's common in these two terms is x plus 2. So I can take this whole bracket x plus 2 out as a factor. It's a nice, easy way of dealing, dealing with this. So I have x plus 2 as a common factor in these two terms, as you can see. This is a little trick that will help you in dealing with such questions. So this x plus 2 is a common factor in both these terms. It doesn't have to be one letter or a number. It can be actually a bracket that's common. So what's left in this side is 2. If I multiply this by this, I get 2 times x plus 2. And x plus 2 times, um, you're going to have plus x plus 2 times x minus b. If I multiply x plus 2 times x minus b, I'm going to get this. So there we have the bracket now closed and so I'm, I'm left with either x plus 2 um, time I've got x plus 2 times and if I if I um, simplify this I'm going to get x um, minus b plus 2 equals 0 so the two solutions to this is either x equals negative 2 which is this point over here or x equals b minus 2 which is going to be this point the x the x quote of this point over there so if we know x equals b minus 2, that's the, that is the x coordinate of p. Now we want to find the y coordinate of p. How do we find the y coordinate of p? Well, what we can do is replace in this equation. We know the equation of, of the line, line 1. You have y equals a half x plus 1. We know that at the point p, x equals b minus 2. So y equals a half times brackets b minus 2 plus 1. So y equals a half times b minus 1 plus 1. They cancel out, so y equals a half b. Okay, so b minus 2 and a half b. Those are the coordinates of the point p. Okay, so that completes this question, um, part 2 of this question. And now we're going to go on to part b. Okay, so we know that this line is y equals a half x plus 1. We know this is the equation of the curve. We deduced a few other things as well. We deduced that this point is negative 2. And we deduced that this point is b. Okay, so now it's telling us that given that the line 2 is perpendicular to line 1, so this is line 2 and it's perpendicular to line 1, okay, and intersects C on the positive x-axis. Okay, so it intersects C on the positive x-axis. So that's the, basically that point on the point P. Okay, find in terms of B an equation for line 2. Okay, so now, line 2. We're going to find an equation for line 2. Well, we know that the gradient of uh, line 2 is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line 1. Okay, so the gradient of line 2 is going to be minus 2. Because you know that the gradient of line 1 times the gradient of line 2 has to be negative 1. Okay, so that means that must be negative um, 2. Because if this, is gradient, if this has got a gradient of half, this will be the negative reciprocal. And we also know that it passes through the point line 2, passes through the point B0. So we can find in terms of V an equation for line 2 quite easily using the same technique we just did. Y minus Y1 equals M times x minus x1, so y minus 0 equals m, which in this case is negative 2, times x minus b. So this will be in terms of b, as we can see, minus 2x plus 2b. That is going to be the um, equation of line 2. So that's that done. It's pretty simple. So far, it's not been too difficult. Then it says, given also that line 2 intersects c at point p, show that another equation for line 2 is given by this y equals minus 2x plus 5b over 2 minus 4. Now this is a question where it's a bit more complicated, but um, if you think about um, where these line and the curve intersect, 
if we think about solving the equation of y equals a half x plus 1 simultaneously with this equation, we will then find that it's not too difficult to do. Right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equate, I'm going to basically, um, you know, solve these two simultaneously. So I'll say minus a quarter times x plus 2 times x minus b is equal to um, a half x plus 1. Okay, now, how do we solve this equation simultaneously? Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get rid of the fractions. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. That will get rid of the fractions on both sides. That will be minus x plus 2 times x minus b equals, if I multiply this by 4, I'll get 2x plus 2. 2x plus 2. No, 2x plus 4, sorry. 2x plus 4, not 2. Okay, now, how am I going to um, solve this equation? Well, let's bring, bring everything onto one side. So, as this is negative, I'll bring it onto that side. I have 2x plus 4 plus, I have x plus 2 times x minus b equals 0. Now, we have to try to factorize this. Now, if I expand it and then try to solve it, okay, then that's going to give me a problem. Okay, because I'm trying to find... Um, I'm trying to find the, co the, the coordinates of the point B, P. Okay, so what I can do here is I can see here that there's a 2 common in this term. So I'll write this as 2 times x plus 2 plus x plus 2 times x minus B. And here what I can do is I can see that there's a common factor here of x plus 2 in both of these. So I'm going to write this as x plus 2 times, and I'm going to have 2 plus, and that will be x minus b, equals 0. So this will give me x plus 2 times, and I'll have x plus 2 minus b, okay, um, equals 0. So we have either x equals negative 2, which is what we know, or x equals b minus 2. So that is the coordinate of point B, the x coordinate of point B, B minus 2. Okay, so we found an x coordinate for point B, and the y coordinate for point B, um, well, it goes through the, the same equation, y equals a half x plus 1. So the y coordinate will be y equals a half times minus, um, half times B minus 2 plus 1. So the y coordinate will be, um, a half b minus 1 plus 1, which is a half b. Half b minus 1 and plus 1, which is a half b. So we can see the y coordinate of this point is a half b. So this point p has coordinates b minus 2 and a half b. Half b. Those are the coordinates of the point b. So we want to find the equation of the the point the line. Um, we can use these two points as our point, and the fact that the gradient is negative two. So we say y minus a half b equals m, which is minus two times x minus x, which is b minus two, like that in a bracket, and that will give us the equation of the line in terms of b as well. Another equation of the line. So we have y minus a half b equals minus 2x, and that's going to be plus 2 times b minus 2. So y minus a half b equals minus 2x plus 2b minus 4. And we can then add a half b to both sides. So minus 2x, we're going to have a minus a half b plus 2b. That's 2.5b, which is 5 over 2b minus 4. And is that what we had to show? Yes, it is exactly what I had to show. Y equals minus 2x plus 5b over 2 minus 4. So our key was to find another equation of the line is to find the coordinates of b, p, sorry. Those coordinates we ended up being um, b minus 2 and a half b. Okay, how did we find the coordinates of p? p is where this line and the curve intersect. Okay, so it's a bit tricky here actually what we did. We had to solve this equation, but we could spot here at this stage that x plus 2 would be a common factor in these two terms. It's something you have to spot here. 
that is a bit tricky. And, and I think a lot of people got stuck on this question. Okay, so it's a bit tricky there to do that. So once you've found um, the x coordinate of the point um, P, which is going to be x equals B minus 2, you can find the y coordinate. And then we can use that point and the gradient to find another equation in terms of um, B. So now we're going to find the value of B. It says hence or otherwise, find the value of B. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so these are the two equations that we formed. Okay, and we're going to try to use those two equations now to find the value of B. So I know that these two must be identical. That minus 2x plus 2B must be identical to minus 2x plus 5B over 2 minus 4. So uh, we can see here that these are exactly the same. So they, they, therefore, these must be identical. So 2B must be the same as 5B over 2 minus 4. And what's the value of B that causes that to be true? Well, we can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction. So we have um, 4B equals 5B minus 8. So we have B equals 8. So B equals 8. Then we can see that these two will be the same. If I put B as 8 here, that's going to be 40 over 2. Okay, um, 5, 8 to 40 divided by 2 is 20. 20 minus 4 is 16. And if I put B as 8 here, I'm going to get 2, 8 to 16. So yeah, it will be the true when B is 8. These will be the same. So that is the solution to this question. So it's the tricky part of this question really is part C, Okay, where you have to basically solve this equation here. Okay, we have to solve this equation find out where this curve and this line intersect. And the tricky, the thing, the key to it is to see that there's a factor of x plus 2 in these two, which you can take. It's like a common factor. This whole bracket is a common factor of these two terms. And that, that's what helps you to solve it. That's the key. Most people, I think, would have got up to this stage and they would have probably expanded the brackets here and had like a big quadratic with all these Bs and their unknowns. And they wouldn't know how to deal with it. So I think this was one of those questions which distinguished between like the real top scorers and the ones that didn't get like the full marks and stuff. So this is one of those type of questions. So anyway, that concludes this question and this paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be um, linked at the top at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic of, now what topic is this, I guess? Um, I guess it's to do with quadratics. Uh, yeah and equations so i'll put it with quadratics i guess and that will be in the playlist that will appear over here you will also be able to subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and watch the video that will appear the link uh, will be linked up here tells you how to use my channel effectively thank you for watching and see you soon